Hey all you addicts out there, welcome back to another Addicted Fishing Tutorial. I'm Jordan Kennedy. Today we're out here, we're talking winter steelhead, and we're talking how to prepare yourself to go out and chase these beautiful fish so that you're ready for the elements that you're gonna face. First off, we're gonna talk about layering. We're gonna talk all the way from boots all the way head to toe about what you should wear and what I like to wear and all of us pros out there like to use when we go out and try to fish every day. A lot of times when you go out, the best days of fishing that you have for these winter steelhead are some of the most brutal conditions imaginable. So being prepared, having the right gear will keep you on the river and keep you fishing effectively throughout the day and, and keep you on the river. First, we're gonna talk about waders. I like to use Sims waders, the, probably the highest quality product that you can find on the market right now. Definitely worth the price. Um, you can get them in three or four different models, G3, G4, and G4Z. And the G4Z has zipper, has a zipper that goes up and down that allows easy access in and out of your waders. Uh, G4s are really good, super heavy duty, really great feet. The biggest thing for me on the, the wader system is the feet. The quality of the neoprene uh, on the feet of those waders is, is really crucial because as you do a lot of walking, if you do a lot of fishing or you wear your waders a lot, you're gonna wear through a cheaper pair of waders over and over again in a super short amount of time so it's easier to just go out and spend the money and get a higher quality product like the Sims waders. Wading boots is very important. You want to make sure to have studded boots. Uh, there's a lot of different variations with those Sims boots where you can get felt with studs or if that's illegal where you live, you can use the rubber soles with studs. But those aluminum studs that they offer really help you keep good grip and keep you from breaking yourself on the river out there while you're going across the slippery rocks and of course the wet conditions that we're always going to see out here during winter steelhead season. So so the way I always layer up underneath my waders really depends on how cold it's going to be. I love, love, love these Sims leggings. They're very nice, they're very light, and they're very easy to move around and you're not getting a wedgie all day long while you're out there on the river. So I like to go with these and then maybe a pair of sweats. Uh, Sims makes a couple different pairs of sweatpants and microfiber pants that are very nice. Again, for mobility, allows you to stretch and walk and move around underneath your waders so you're not all clustered up all day long. Socks is very important. If you're not gonna layer socks, you wanna definitely go with at least a pair of wool and a pair of synthetic. What the synthetic does is allows your feet to breathe and, and you know shed that overheated nature so that your feet aren't condensating all day long and getting your feet wet whether your waders leak or not. And then having those wool socks will allow you to trap that warmth in and even if they do get wet, will allow you to stay warm with your feet while you're wading through that cold water all day long. Another super crucial part of the waders is wearing a wader belt. A lot of times during the winter, we're fishing places where the water flows are high, swift, and, and very dangerous if you go into the river. So having a good, high quality Sims wader belt is probably the most important part of your entire wardrobe when you go on the river. You can be cold, you can be wet, but if you fall in the river and, you're, and your waders fill up with water immediately, you're gonna go down and you're gonna stay on the bottom of the river forever. And none of us wanna hear about that. So be sure and always use those wader belts that are provided with your waders. And if not, even a normal belt you have at home to keep those waders tight and keep that water from going down into your wader system while you're, if you fall in the river. So keep that in mind and be sure to keep that belt on. Going away from the waders, we're gonna move more into the layering aspect of staying warm out here. I really, really like to start with just a t-shirt, a base layer, and either one of our Addicted hoodies, which we have different models of, which are very warm and comfortable, and also these microfiber fleece Sims jackets that they have that are available on their website. But having those two to three to four base layers before your jacket is what's gonna be key. You can always take them off, you can always put them back in your bag, and you could keep putting layers on and off, because as you're going down the river, especially if you're gonna be fishing in a boat, you're not gonna be moving a lot. And I know I get miserable when I get cold and I like to be warm all day long. So going away from that, that second, that third layer I like to use, I like to use these puffy coats. Sims makes them, everybody makes them. Um, having that nice artificial material and or a wool coat that'll keep that, that body heat locked in underneath your waders. I always recommend wearing your three to four base layers under your waders. It's a big mistake I see people make is putting their base layers over their waders and allowing that heat to escape. So wearing these two or three layers as you go up, that microfiber fleece, more of a, a synthetic material, and then a down jacket or some kind of wool jacket is really, really nice. Keeps you warm all day long. So I'm gonna go from there up to the hat. 
I like to wear these fully cloth hats. Of course, we have a lot of addicted hats out there that have the trucker style with the mesh in the back. I like to use these cloth hats. You don't have to be the high brim. We have tons of different models of these hats. Uh, but having that fully cloth in that fully enclosed hat, along with these beanies, our addicted beanies, is super crucial in keeping that body heat trapped on you. Uh, having that hood, having everything that's gonna cover up your entire head and your ears and allow you to stay warm while you're getting beat down by the elements is gonna be super crucial. So. From there, I'm gonna go over to the gloves. These are probably the most important part. While we're fishing, we're using our hands a lot. Um, having gloves is probably the most important aspect of being on the river in cold conditions. I see it every day, people show up and they don't have their gloves because they didn't think they were gonna need them. 10 minutes in, they're miserable. So, especially on your rod hand. If you only bring a glove, at least bring one. So, I like these Sims wool gloves. They have these great little mesh grippers on there for rowing and for holding on to fish that allows them to not have that slime pulled off of them by that wool material. But these Sims gloves are fantastic on the river. I, even on a sunny day, I don't go without them. So, they're great to have. Always have these on you if anything and and they're going to keep your hands warm and keep you fishing so from there the rain jacket is crucial whether it's raining whether we have these clear cold conditions like we have today or whether it's a downpour rain you want to have as good of a, a rain jacket as you can I have the Sims guide jacket there's a lot of different guide jackets out there from Sims they have the, the guide 4 the guide 3 a lot of different variations and styles so it works out very nicely because you can kind of accent whatever you want to do as far as your style on the river. So I like the Sims Guide jacket. It's an incredibly waterproof jacket. Now this jacket's a couple years old even, so it's ragged and tattered, but I love it. It even is really nice on those days when it's not raining and you wanna just be out there and avoid the wind and anything else that helps trap that layer in, or that layer of warmth in un underneath your clothes and keep you so happy on the river all day long. So what I do see a lot of people do that's a big mistake though is wearing this jacket underneath their waders. What happens if it's raining, all that water goes down your back, goes right back in your waders, and you end up soaked from head to toe by the end of the day. So I always recommend wearing your, your waterproof jacket over your waders and all the rest of your layers, and that's gonna keep you dry all day long, and you can stand out there in a torrential downpour and land those beautiful steelhead we all love. So, so as we pull off these layers and add layers throughout the day, it's really, really nice to have a bag like this, these must-add dry bags that we have. These are wonderful because they go in the boat nicely or on the bank on your backpack. There's a couple must-add backpacks out there that are wonderful for this adaption. Um, being able to keep your layers dry when you take them off is crucial because if you end up putting wet clothes back on, nobody's gonna be happy. So be sure to have a bag to put it all back in, whether it be one of the Sims bags or these must-add dry bags, and that's gonna help you a lot. All right, everybody, so those are some tips on how I stay warm and stay on the river all day long throughout the winter. It's very important to use each one of these aspects because every day we go out there and we're miserable, it's gonna ruin our time. And we're not gonna be fishing as effectively and fishing as hard throughout the day if you're not warm and comfortable on the river. If you guys like what you saw here today, be sure and comment below. And most of all, be sure and subscribe over here to this YouTube channel so you can see more of these good videos coming out every day that makes you guys more advanced anglers and makes everybody happy. So be sure to like this video, be sure to share it out there. And again, subscribe down here below. Stay fishy guys and we'll see you out there in the river.